You want that great restaurant taste without the pain of going to a restaurant or the expense? Today, you're gonna to be learning how to make tuna tostadas. Not only yummy, but they'll save you money. Hi, I'm Amy Power, the owner of Fed and Full, a personal chef service in Lake Tahoe. I'm here to teach you that cooking delicious food doesn't have to be hard, time consuming, or expensive. So let's get cooking while saving some dough. Ahi tuna could be a little bit on the pricier side. So I recommend maybe doing this for a date night rather than a large gathering to save some extra money. Another way to save money is to use canned tuna or leftover shredded chicken. There's a link to all these recipes in the description. This sounds like an expensive dish, but if you use small portions, you can make it affordable. For the Power family, Mexican food is one of our favorite things to eat. It makes me feel like I'm poolside with a margarita in my hand. Honestly, like this dish makes me feel like when I'm cooking for my clients and I'm stuffing like five of them in my face when I can sit down and eat. But <laughs> Simply, my passion for food started because I like to eat and so I needed to learn to feed myself. Nothing's ever perfect. I make mistakes and with those mistakes, I grow. I think my favorite part about making tostadas or tacos is how versatile and frugal they can be. Using what you have in the house saves money and reduces food waste. Think outside the box and fry up some eggs, saute some leftover greens, use some grilled shrimp from the other day. It's all good when it's in a tortilla. I wanna show you how to make a homemade mayonnaise and it tastes a hell of a lot better than store-bought. We're gonna to have to separate the whites from the yolks. And making your own condiments like this will save you a ton of money. I'm using a food processor today. By all means, you can use a blender. Don't feel like you need to go and buy, but having certain kitchen tools are great investments. Most appliances will last you decades. I still use my mom's hand-me-down KitchenAid mixer that is 50 years old. You don't have to add garlic, but I personally enjoy the taste. Adding garlic to a mayonnaise base is often called aioli. You turn on the food processor and then you slowly drizzle the oil in and you emulsify everything together. And you're dripping and you're drizzling. So I use a combination of avocado oil and some olive oil. Taste your food and suit your preferences. Mm. I want a little more tang. If you run out of lemons, you can always incorporate some type of vinegar. Don't be afraid to use what you have instead of buying pricier ingredients you might not use. Using what you have on hand is a great way to save money. People have a lot of feelings about mayonnaise. There's people that love mayonnaise. There's people that hate mayonnaise. Here you go, mayonnaise for our ahi tuna tostadas. <laughs> this is a leak. It's not intimidating, but they're dirty. So you gotta clean them. Slice off the greens. You don't need them. Don't have leeks? Use an onion and slice it nice and thin so it can crisp up nicely. Dirt gets trapped in all of these little guys. So what we're gonna do is a thin slice and then we're gonna throw in this mixing bowl with water. Slice, slice, slice. We're gonna put them in here. <sighs> Just massaging. Dry them off because we're gonna fry them and get all the water out. Leak burrito. So we have our ahi tuna. We're gonna slice this and get it ready for our marinade. What you wanna do is look at the grain of the fish. Make sure you have a nice sharp knife. There we go. Oh yeah. I'm gonna throw it in here. And then we're gonna make our marinade. Orange juice in a combination with coconut aminos. You can use soy sauce, you can use tamari. Don't have coconut aminos? Don't buy it if you have soy sauce. Remember, using what you have saves money. And put it in the refrigerator. If you're using leftover protein, just whisk the marinade together and use it as a light sauce. If you don't wanna fry tortillas, you can simply use tortilla chips or buy some store-bought ones. With a high heat oil, I'm using avocado. You're gonna use quite a bit. High, hot, that's, that's hot. And you just wanna fry them until they're just golden brown on both sides. Save money and just use any high heat oil you have. Like rain. Make sure these leeks are very dry before adding them to the hot oil or it will splatter. They're gonna turn from green to like a golden brown hue. They're awesome if you make them in a big batch and you use them as like a salad topping. You can just let them do their thing, frying in the oil. Leeks. 
Pickled vegetables and peppers make a great addition to tostadas, tacos, or any Mexican dish. Think radishes, cucumbers, carrots, jalapenos. And if you see any veggies starting to go bad, pickle it to expand its lifetime. It's such a great way to save. So we have everything ready for our ahi tuna tostadas. Next thing we're gonna do is plate them. Tortilla, the mayonnaise, tuna on top. Sliced jalapenos, if you like it spicy. Leeks, sprinkle them on top. Cilantro. Radish for garnish. Ta-da! Hey, Michelle, come on the side of the camera and eat these with me. I haven't mm -hmm. eaten all day. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Holy smokes. Yep. It's really hard to eat on camera. What do you like the best? Um, the ahi tostada. <laughs> no, just the tostada. All of it together. You could even do it like a buffet style too, right? Like have everything out and people can... If you don't have the leeks, it's not gonna like completely botch the dish. It's still gonna be good. Just have a couple of the components if you don't have them all. That was amazing. Plate drop. We're done. <laughs> 